they ask me all the time, what is your favorite this, what is your favorite that, what is your favorite that, whatever. And at one time, what is your favorite word? And I said, my favorite word, that is really easy. My favorite word is the word, is the word. And that is everything. It says it all for us. And you know the biblical reference, you know the gospel reference of the word. And uh, that word is, uh, it, we have to give voice to what that means in terms of uh, public policy that would be in keeping with the values uh, of the word, the word. Isn't it a beautiful word when you think of it? Just covers everything, word. <laughs> Fill, you know, fill it in with anything you want, but of course we know it means uh, the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And that's the, uh, the great mystery, other of our faith, where he will come again. He will come again, so we have to make sure we're prepared to answer in this life or otherwise uh, as to uh, how we have uh, measured up. And Senator Clinton, favorite Bible verse. The golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I think it's a good rule for politics. Too. In Islam, there is the hadith that reads, none of you truly believes until he wishes for his brother what he wishes for himself. The same is true for Buddhists and Hindus, for followers of Confucius, and for humanists. As the Holy Quran tells us, be conscious of God and speak always the truth. That is what I will try to do today, to speak the truth as best I can. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Which passages of scripture should guide our public policy? Folks haven't been reading the Bible. Folks haven't been reading the Bible. Folks haven't been reading the Bible.